tall, blonde, and incredibly beautiful, the American model, Kimberly Conrad was every man's fantasy in the 80s. From her career as a Playboy model to her marriage and subsequent divorce with Hugh Hefner, founder of Playboy magazine, there is no doubt that Kimberly Conrad had an exciting life journey. In this video, we'll share nine secret facts about Kimberly Conrad you probably didn't know. But before we're getting into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. And we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Number 9. Started modeling when she was only 17. Kimberly Conrad was born on August 26, 1962, in Alabama, USA. Her family shifted to Reno, Nevada when she was four years old. When she was 12 years old her family again decided to move, this time to British Columbia in Canada. In Canada, she started her modeling career when was only 17 years old. That was a time when people were obsessed with the allure of blonde and blue-eyed beauties. The naturally charming Kimberly Conrad fit the bill, and was therefore an instant success. Soon she was discovered by John Casablancas, the famous modeling agent, who invited her to elite model management. Not long after, still a teenager, she was already a successful model at John Casablanca's Elite. Number 8. One Playmate of the Year 1989. Her modeling career took her to Vancouver, Canada. In Vancouver she worked in the fashion industry, modeling for different local commercials. During one of these shoots she met a local Vancouver photographer, Ken Honey. Ken, who had previously worked on a few projects with Playboy magazine, persuaded her to model for the Playboy magazine. She was a little reluctant at first but with the encouragement of her friends she agreed, and posed for the Playboy magazine. The rest, as they say, is history. The gorgeous blue-eyed beauty was an instant hit. In a short time she became every man's secret fantasy. Soon, after a few projects with Playboy she was given the chance to become the Playmate of January 1988. As her popularity increased she was named the Playmate of the Year 1989. Number 7. Guest Appearance in Highway to Heaven It is not out of the ordinary for fashion models to try to make a career in acting. It is no surprise that Kimberly dipped her toes in the field of acting as well. Kimberly Conrad made a guest appearance in Highway to Heaven in episode 12 of season 5 of the series, It's a Dog's Life, which aired on July 28, 1989. However, it seems the acting world did not suit her too much as this guest appearance has remained Kimberly's only acting venture in mainstream media. Number 6. She and Hugh Hefner had an age difference of 36 years. The marriage of Kimberly Conrad and Hugh Hefner caused quite a stir in the media and news. The marriage was held in 1989, the same year Kimberly was announced Playmate of the Year. While the media made all sorts of comments Kimberly was adamant in her stance that she and Hugh Hefner loved each other very much. At the time Kimberly was only 26 while Hugh Hefner was 63. Everyone was betting the marriage wouldn't last more than a few months. However, against all odds, the marriage was more successful than any could have speculated. Kimberly Conrad and Hugh Hefner remained married for nine years. They also had two sons, Marston Glenn Hefner and Cooper Bradford Hefner together. During their marriage the couple made a lot of lifestyle changes. The Playboy Mansion parties were toned down a bit. Casual nudity was banned. The house was made as kids-friendly as possible. The couple was more inclined to make it work like a traditional marriage, and that was surprising for many friends and family members. Number 5. 11 years of separation before the actual divorce. After almost nine years of marriage, Kimberly Conrad and Hugh Hefner separated in 1998. Kimberly originally filed for the divorce at the time, but took back her petition deciding to remain married for the sake of her two boys. The divorce was later filed by Hugh Hefner, when their younger son Cooper turned 18 in 2009. While they separated on good terms, gradually their relationship became more and more strained. Especially due to money matters. During their divorce, Kimberly even sued Hefner for $5 million for selling the house she was living in. Her lawyers also claimed she was eligible to $250,000 annually, after their fourth year of marriage as per their prenuptial agreement. 
Things still remained bitter between them even after the divorce. Number 4. She lived in a house next to the Playboy Mansion during her separation. When they decided to separate, Kimberly and Hugh Hefner were on very friendly terms. So much so that she only moved out from the Playboy Mansion to a house next door. This arrangement was made mostly so the boys would be near their father. Hugh Hefner paid for all her expenses during this time. Number 3. She is a vegetarian and active PETA member. Kimberly Conrad is known for her love of animals. One the proof for her love for animals that she is a vegetarian by choice. Kimberly is also an active PETA member. She has attended and participated in many of their fundraisers and other charity events. While living in Los Angeles, California she also volunteered for various animal rescue groups. Number 2. She dated Rod Stewart and Quincy Jones. Other than her marriage to Hugh Hefner, Kimberly Conrad has been associated with some famous names. Among the top of these names are Rod Stewart and Quincy Jones. Kimberly Conrad briefly dated Rod Stewart, the famous British rock and pop singer, songwriter, and record producer in 1999. At the time Kimberly was 36 years of age while Rod Stewart was 53. In late 2004 Kimberly dated Quincy Jones, the famous American music producer. Kimberly who was 42, and Quincy Jones who was 71 at the time were often photographed together. This relationship was also short-lived lasting less than a year from November 2014, NEC 2015. Although separated, Kimberly was still married to Hugh Hefner during both of these relationships. Number 1. Recreating her January 1988 Playmate of the Month cover at age of 55. Cooper Hefner the younger son of Kimberly Conrad, and Hugh Hefner has been involved in Playboy business since an early age. In 2017, Cooper, who was at the time the chief creative officer of the Playboy magazine, made a rather unconventional request to her mother on Mother's Day. He asked her if she would be interested in recreating her iconic Playboy cover from 1988. Although a little shocked, Kimberly agreed. This would be her first modeling job after many years, as she had been largely inactive towards her modeling career after her marriage. Two weeks later they shot her recreation of the Playboy cover of January 1988, when she was announced the Playmate of the Month. Dressed in a sliver blazer and open-buttoned shirt, she looked almost as gorgeous as her first appearance, if not more. However, Kimberly Conrad was not the only former Playmate returning to the Playboy magazine though. Six other Playmates including Charlotte Kemp, Kathy St. George, Monique St. Pierre, Renee Tennyson, Candace Collins, and Lisa Matthews also recreated their old covers. Outro. So, did you like these secrets about Kimberly Conrad? Any other celebrity you want us to spill the tea about? Let us know in the comments, and we will try our best to bring the content you want to you. Again please like and share the video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. Until next time.